Hey guys, welcome to Complete Auto TV. Um, in today's episode, we're going to do kind of the um, pre-final um, assembly part two episode. I guess that's the best way to kind of explain it. Um, we're going to do the stuff that we need to do in order um, to do the final assembly um, part two, and that'll be the last, the last final assembly part. So um, we're going to do um, stuff with the intake. We are going to do um, what else did we do? Oh yeah, we're going to um, go on our second test drive and we are going to do something else, but I forget. But you can just watch. Stick around. So, my camera battery is um, almost dead, so I'm going to try to make this quick. Um, but, uh, in order to take this car on a test drive, we have to um, tuck some things in. Um, these guards, um, this one's at the bottom too, right there. Um, and also on the other side. Um, so, we have to tuck those in, make sure they're not hitting any of the tires. Um, and also, we need to fully secure all of the body panels. Um, because right now they're just loosely fitted um, with like one or two bolts. So what I'm gonna do right now. Hey guys, so now um, I am really sorry about this, but I was an idiot and accidentally um, deleted that time lapse that you were just about to see. So sorry, I, I know I keep doing things like this and it sucks. Um, I'm learning though, so hopefully, you know, next time I won't do it again. Um, but uh, all we did is just tuck those, um, the uh, most of the guards either up underneath the, the 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 line of the fender or underneath the bumper just to get them out of the way that's how they're supposed to be so that they don't hit the wheels or the ground um, yeah it's not that interesting I'll uh, show you guys what I did I just won't show you as I'm doing it alright um, so my camera is somewhat charged up um, we got those things tucked in the ones at the bottom as well um, both sides, I believe. Oh, no! I forgot the the passenger side under the car. So I'll do that um, real quick. I won't show you guys that just because it's hard to see and you already know what I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, I think we're ready to uh, do a test drive. Number two. Oh, sorry. It's graphic content. Two. Not allowed graphic content on YouTube. <laughs> uh, classic. Anyway, um, sorry for my bad jokes. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, we have to jump the car, so we're gonna probably bring the Sequoia there, um, right up here, jump start it, um, and then go on a test drive. I think my brother, um, uh, my mom, and possibly my brother's girlfriend are gonna come with us, so maybe I'll let you guys know. Alright, so, the update, uh, obviously things didn't go as planned, um, so we tried to jump start the car, um, don't mind them, they're just playing volleyball, um, <laughs> but, uh, I think the battery is just, um, too dead, or too, um, maybe it just can't hold power, I don't know, it might just be a faulty battery, so, um, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to use this charger here, um, and I'm going to charge it overnight, um, and then possibly go on a test drive um, tomorrow at some point. Alright, so um, it's the next day, and our battery is at 96%, um, so hopefully it'll uh, start, um, and then we can test drive. Uh, Let's think of anything else we might need to do. 
Um, oh, I could, um, I'll check tire pressure too. That's another thing. Cause last time we weren't sure. I mean, we were sure that the tires weren't completely flat. I mean, they didn't look flat, obviously. They don't either now, but I'm gonna check anyway. Sorry it's so dark. Um, it's the same day, but um, I just uh, didn't get a chance to test drive the car. I uh, was really busy all day with stuff that came out of nowhere. So um, our battery is at 100% and 12 volts. Um, so that's all exactly where it's supposed to be. Uh, that's just about perfect. So um, I'm gonna unplug this. I'm also gonna disconnect the battery. Um, and then hopefully tomorrow, um, or maybe the next day, we'll, uh, test drive. Okay, um, so it's kind of dark outside. Sorry, the reflection of the window. It's so dirty. Um, but we're gonna try to do this anyway, and we're just gonna use the camera light. So car starts right up, thanks to a charged battery. Brake is off. Uh, car is in reverse, maybe? It is in reverse now. Here, so let me hold the camera. Point it like over here so they can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm going backwards. Um, well, bush. That's a bush. Um, I'm going to roll down the window so you guys can hear everything. That's something I forgot to do last time. And we're going to go. Um, so, the, uh, all the gears seem to work well. Um, in third, back to second. Uh, brakes are squeaky. Whoops. Now this person's waiting for me. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think it's working. Our uh, left blinker keeps flickering because it knows that something's not working. And oh my gosh, my door is open. That's funny. Um, yeah, everything seems to be working. We might have a misalignment because it's kind of, um, it, it does feel a little bit wobbly. I agree. Um, power steering feels good. What? Yeah, uh, it feels a little bit wobbly. Huh? Yep. Uh, the, there's a, a crackling kind of noise in the back, but that real bad thumping noise we heard the first time, I'm not sure if you guys heard it at all, but, um, that is gone. Um, that we don't hear that anymore so that is a good sign a real good sign so you know thank goodness whoop oh I just about stalled okay let's try that again am I in first I think I'm in first Why do I keep just about stalling? I don't know what's happening. Anyway. It is it is driving well. Um you hear that some that uh, like crackling noise. Something with the suspension. It does it does move. It's not a slow car, that's for sure. I mean it might not be a extremely fast car but it's not slow it is a mover that was like barla anything any throttle that was not even close to max so all right let's go on that's all i got I like it. I'm only getting up to like 3,000 RPM, so it is. It is sure a. It's a zippy little car, or a zippy 
mounts to the little car that should be little I'm not sure you call it what you want um, yeah I think it was a, a success we gonna close the windows before I forget again like that funny story I'll tell you guys later um, we just got back from the junkyard um, we took another trip um, and I did I took off this piece that was there um, because it's the wrong piece I don't know if I've told you that already or not but um, <clears throat> we did get the right one um, it is right here so now I'm going to um, put it in Okay, now that we got our beautiful blinker in, um, <clears throat> we're going to have to take it back out. <laughs> um, so we're, we're going to work on that um, intake right there. So now that we know that the blinker fits and that it all works, um, we're going to take it out again, um, take the bumper and the side fender off. So we got... Um, Driver's side, headlight, and blinker out together. I'm gonna keep them as a uh, one piece because they're a pain to, uh, to click together. Um, <clears throat> and I forgot to take off the fender. Whoops, I'll uh, take off the fender. And then we will focus down here in this area because um, like I said before, it's tweaked so that the, um, the, the intake for the engine isn't 100% being filtered. It's still getting air like it should, but it's not. Um, filtered air. I'll show you after I get the fender off. Okay, fender is off. Um, and it's kind of heartbreaking, to be completely honest. All this time, trying to put it all together and make it look nice. And now we're just taking it off to fix this stupid thing. Um, okay. Um, sorry. I know I'm saying um a lot and not telling you what I'm going to do. So, if you see here, this piece, so this black plastic piece is the intake. It comes over here, uh, where did, it, where did it go? I lost it. Oh, yeah, there you go. It's right here. So this is the opening for the intake, and, like, see all that dirt in there? Um, that's what gets filtered out. When it comes over here, it's supposed to go down here into the filter, and then back out up into here but it's not lining up. So some of that air is coming straight out here, some of that air is coming in here and not being filtered, um, and then goes into the engine. So we want all of the air filtered. Um, so we're probably gonna take a chunk out of this. I'm gonna cut a chunk out of here. So this thing can move this way. Uh, we're going to, um, there's a mount right there. Sorry, let me focus, there you go. Um, that we will bend, I think, probably out um, this way. And then there's one more mount right there that we will do the same to. Um, possibly cut it off completely and relocate. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now. All right guys, we have a problem. I was just about to go get um, my grinder with the cutoff wheel. That's all I've got left. <laughs> so I need a new blade. Um, so this is going to have to wait. Um, I am going to go to Home Depot probably um, and get another one of those. So here's the deal. Um, 
I do not have a ride to Home Depot, and I do not have my license yet, so I can't drive by myself. Um, but I want to keep working, so I'm going to, um, since we have this space now, uh, my parents left, they took the car here, um, we're going to take the Camry out and move it right here, um, just because I like the space. Um, and then, um, we're just going to work on like cleaning it out. It's so messy, and I just want to do like a, a really good deep clean, um, all the inside stuff. Um, uh, the, like the trunk, um, maybe do an actual wash like of the outside of the car, um, and I'd love to do an engine bay cleaning too, like get rid of this rust um, and just make it look really nice and clean in here. Um, but that might be a time or something from another time, for another time. Um, for right now, I'm just gonna do um, the inside of the car, um, and I'm gonna bring it right over here. Guys, look what I found. <clears throat> it's just a, a salt shaker. It's great, and that's not even the best part. It spilled, and now my uh, my uh, I'm blanking. What the heck? Glove box. Glove box. That's what it's called. <clears throat> um, so now my glove box is full of salt. It's great. So I'm gonna vacuum that out. Okay, so um, we got the car cleaned out. Um, looks very nice. Um, so now, well, the next step, I'll start with here, with this. Um, the next step is to go buy a new blade so that we can cut into this stuff here. Um, but I'm tired, so I'm gonna stop for today. Um, I'm gonna move the car back over there so that I don't get in my parents' way. Um, and then I will work on that maybe tomorrow or the the day after. I'm not sure. But we're gonna do it soon. We got our blade. Um, and unfortunately it's already pretty dark out. It's not even that late. Um, it's just this time of year I guess it gets dark really really soon. Um, so I'm, I apologize um, for the darkness. I'll uh, set up some lights so hopefully I'll be able to see what I'm doing. But I am going to go ahead um, and do all that stuff I told you guys about um, earlier uh, with those mounts. There you go. Um, this mount. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try um, to pull this off um, just by unscrewing all the mounts and then I can uh, see it better, see what the problem is, um, and fix it that way. Hey guys, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, I forgot to check the battery on my camera, and it was like real, real low. Um, <clears throat> so it died pretty much right when I started that time lapse. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, but as you see, I got this light here, and this light here, um, and this mount here that plugged in, or that screwed in right here, I, un I undid that, and it just fell out. Because as you can see here, this mount is actually broken. Um, it didn't look like it was, but it was right back here, connected to here. So I'll undo that too, um, and try to bend this forward a little. Actually, it's moving. Oh, it's just a screw there. I thought it was welded. Um, <clears throat> so that'll be easy to move around. Um, 
because that gives this a lot more space um, to uh, mount up to your uh, your fender. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna fill around with this a little bit more, um, see if I can get it to uh, move around at all and make sure it's not cracked anywhere. Um, and I'll get back to you guys. Okay guys, um, somewhat good news. Um, so if you see here, um, so this is where the intake, uh, sorry, uh, this piece here, this moves here, and this opening right down there, um, here, let me get a better angle, uh, okay, so it's kind of hard to see, but it's right here, it's just an open tube, um, that thing right there. Um, that's where the intake starts and then it moves this way it comes down here um, it comes up here it goes under there whoops right there and then it goes right through here and then into the engine so um, if you if you look real close right there um, those two things right there are misaligned and that is a good sign I think because that means this whole thing just got moved back. That means it's not cracked, it's not broken anywhere. Um, hopefully, um, it's a good sign. So, um, I'm going to work on next, um, cutting out this section so that the whole thing can start shifting forward. So, I was kind of hacking and bending away at this, um, and it is like wiggly now, so that's good. Um, before it was just jammed in there, so we are making some progress. Um, I'm gonna keep going, try to get right here, this big spot, maybe try to curve it out a little bit like that. Um, just so we have lots of space. Um, and then I'll work on getting this nice and fitted up, see if when I shake it, it's moving around. Um, so we'll work on getting that back and clicked in there real good. Um, so yeah, that's all I'll do right now. Jackie. Mission accomplished. Um, so we got this all freed up in there. I tried to hammer that down to make it less sharp. I might go back in and uh, and uh, file it down or something. Um, but yeah, so this is moving freely um, and I can adjust it however I'd like. So I'm going to work on now trying to get that um, pushed in the way it's supposed to be. Okay, so it is... Sorry, let me walk around all this crap. Um, it is fitting in nicely now. Um, but this is still pretty wiggly. Um, so I'm gonna put in, put this back in. First I'm gonna clean it out, cause in there it's all, it's just full of dirt, actually. Oh, okay. So I looked in there and thought that was a hole that black speck, but it's not. It's a, it's just some dirt or something. Um, so I'm gonna, so I thought this was a filter, um, but it is not. It's just plastic. Um, obviously I'm gonna put it back on because it does have a purpose. I'm just not sure what that purpose is. Um, because there is a filter in here. I thought there were two. I thought this was a, a secondary backup one, but there is one in here, if you want to see it, if I can get it off, right there. Um, so that is, I guess that's the only filter in this, this one here, uh, serves a different purpose. I don't know if it's to catch water before it goes into the engine, if it's raining or something. Actually, yeah, that might make sense because if you look, uh, where is it? Oh yeah, right here. Really hard to see, but there's a hole right there. That's a, like a draining hole. So I wonder if it just 
gets water, holds it, and drips it down as you're driving so it doesn't go into your engine because it, you know, it, it'll suck up whatever is in the way, whatever is in front of it at the time. Um, so if it's raining or whatever, it would suck up all the, the water. So I think that's the purpose. Um, but I will, I will put this back on. I will um, try my best to uh, fix that mount. I might plastic weld it. That might be what I do right now. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'm going to go in there where it's a little bit warmer um, and plastic weld that up. Try to kind of break that piece off and move it over and plastic weld it back on there. Not, um, uh, plastic welding, I, I just uh, bent these a little bit more back into place <clears throat> with the vice grips. Um, this one's still not perfect. Uh, actually, neither of them are perfect, but um, they're they're doable. And I'm afraid if I do it, if I bend them anymore, they're just gonna break. So um, this is how I'm gonna keep it. Uh, and now I'm gonna go put it on the car. Okay guys, we did it. Oh sorry, I really out of focus. Um, as you can see, this is like all pushed up in there, how it's supposed to be, it's real sturdy. This isn't wiggling anymore, which is a good a good thing. Um, <clears throat> and it's all lined up. Oh, well, I can't even see it now. Yeah, it's all lined up right down there. There you go. That's why you can see it. Yeah. Uh, so I think that's an episode. Hey guys, as always, thank you all for watching. Um, next episode is going to be real exciting because that is Final Assembly Part 2. Um, that is, um, it's going to be like the permanent, like, almost done. We need to do body work and paint and stuff like that after, and that's it. Um, so it's a real milestone. Make sure you guys watch that. It's going to be real, real exciting. Um, yeah, please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.